Hey guys, I'm gonna let you know a little secret. It's the fastest way I can tell if a business owner or manager that I'm talking to knows anything about their numbers. I'll ask them a really simple question. What GP percentage is your business running at at the moment? Now, if I know what sort of business it is, I'll generally know what that percentage number means and what it should be. And if they give me some crazy number that's not associated to it, I know they don't know about what their numbers are. So I wanted to do a video today on the cost of goods and the uh, GP or gross profit for a profit and loss statement. Okay, so quick review, cost of goods, COGS, also called cost of sales, variable expense, it's got a few other names. If you haven't downloaded my cheat sheet, go to one of my other videos where you can click the link and get it. GP, now this is where the distinction I want you to get comes from. GP stands for gross profit. Now gross means overall. So if you've got the gross weight of something, it generally means everything. And it also means before tax. So in a lot of countries, if you've got before tax wages, it means before tax. Now, here's the interesting thing. When we look at a P&L, we're looking at the GP and COGS for the whole business, okay? So let's say our GP here, well, this is our total sales of the business, all right? So income, total sales. Now, an element of this will be our cost of goods sold, okay? So if we have 100 bucks and a cost of goods sold is, looking at this, say 60 bucks, that means our GP is 40 bucks or 40%. So our GP gross profit. So this is for overall of the business and before tax. But what you may not understand is how this part here is made up. So you can imagine every time you get a sale, there is a little bit of COGS and a little bit of GP in everything that you sell. So every time you sell something, you can imagine these little squares, sometimes you sell big things, sometimes you sell small things, but each one, depending on your business, will have a COGS element and a gross profit element, the bit you get to keep. All of those all add up together, mash together, to give on your profit and loss one snapshot of your whole business. So, if you weren't real sure, hopefully that helps you understand a bit more about gross profit. If you've got any questions, 